I'm Elise Cobb and I'm a 7th grade social studies teacher at Woodridge Middle School. Middle school is, it's such a great age because they're figuring out who they are as people and they're starting to come into their own and they are still so thirsty for knowledge and they're still so ready to learn and to figure it out. I read uh, some books when I was in college, one of which was Dewey's Experience in Education and that really just pushed home the idea that if you can't make it relevant, the kids aren't gonna use it. And they're not gonna bother to try to learn it because they can't see how it works for their life. The idea of being able to come back to middle school after I'd been substitute teaching in it for years, um, that really made me happy and trying to come back here and then seventh grade specifically is like my own personal heaven. It is my happy place. The sixth graders are amazing and they're sweet and they're still getting used to being big kids. And eighth graders are so ready to kind of move forward and move on and get to the high school where seventh graders are in their happy medium, find themselves, figure out who they are place. And I just feel like that's my connection with them. She makes learning very fun for all of her students. She, nothing's ever boring in her class. She always makes sure that Everybody has what they need, and she's just a very fun teacher to work with, and I, very, I really like her class. And Ms. Cobb, she's, she's really nice, and she makes you feel welcome in her class, and it's also very laid back and relaxed. Um, she's a really nice teacher, honestly, and she makes all her classes so fun, and like she's so energetic, and she's a really good teacher. And I love her like way of teaching and like making us all feel like we're at home. Elise is the kind of teacher that cares about every single one of her students, um, whether they want her to or not. She's kind of a, uh, an advocate for students. She's very, very attentive and she, she notices a lot of things that kids probably don't even notice in themselves and she, she goes to bat for them all the time. Um, she is very funny. She's very lively and energetic in her classes. Her students will tell you the same thing. She is, she's, she's interactive with her, her kids and her colleagues. She is one of our co-chairs of our Student Lighthouse team, and she is responsible for kind of implementing a lot of the different leadership things that we have here in our school with our students. And um, she, just, she just brings a lot of energy. And honestly, that's, that's one of the reasons that everybody loves her so much. My personal, I guess, theory or standard on this would be um, love first, teach second. Um, I try to build relationships with all of my students. Um, the hugs, the love, the jokes. It's, they know they're safe here, they know they're cared for here. They know that they can come here and talk about their bad day. They know they can come in here and kind of release. And if they know they can do that, they know that they can safely learn here. When this opening came up for this job a handful of years ago, it was just kind of a, I would really love to be in a middle school again, and I would really love to be a history teacher, let's try it. I'll travel, I don't mind that. Um, and when I was able to come down here, I was just so happy. I didn't want to leave. <laughs> um, it was really just a shot in the dark of trying to be in a middle school in social studies again, that when I got here, uh, I, I was home. And I'm happy, I love my coworkers, I love our admin. Um, everyone I've worked with in this district has just been amazing. And I would never want to leave. Stop it. <laughs> Nicely done! <laughs> Woo!